Well, this is a, was an exercise to prepare for the next disaster, whether it be a hurricane, a flood, or any kind of storm. And I'm happy to report that we are prepared. Uh, we have particularly been tested in, in recent years with a flood and a hurricane, and most of the people here were uh, around when hurricane, some here when, when Hugo hit us, which was one of the worst we've hurricanes in a long time. But uh, we have a great team, and this sort of collaboration and communication uh, is a good exercise and also an example of the kind of collaboration and communication we're going to need for readiness in case of a, of a disaster. But we've got a, got a great team, and part of that great team is General Livingston of the National Guard. General? Thank you, Governor. Uh, the, uh, the team assembled behind us uh, is uh, prepared to go into the hurricane season. Uh, of course, uh, this disaster, uh, the next disaster is not the same as the previous disaster. So we all have to maintain that uh, flexibility that uh, South Carolinians are always known for. And it is really the people of South Carolina that make us successful. So it is that connection through uh, media, social media, that discussion that we have among ourselves and the attentiveness of the people of South Carolina to what the governor asked you to do is so key. So we ask for that cooperation. We remind you the uh, hurricane preparation guide is out there and uh, we want to make sure that the people of South Carolina are prepared for what may come. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. And here's a copy of the hurricane guide and it is very good and of course all of our agencies are prepared to answer as many questions as possible. And also with us is the Director of Emergency Management Division, Kim Stimson. Uh, thank you, sir. And uh, I just want to talk about the hurricane guide a little bit. Uh, this will help businesses and individuals prepare for the upcoming season. Uh, it's full of information on evacuation routes, uh, evacuation zones, what to do before uh, you leave home, what you, what you need to prepare for, uh, what you need to do uh, when you come back. So it's full of information. Uh, it's available in a number of areas. It's available at Walgreens statewide. It'll be in uh, newspaper inserts uh, for newspapers from the coast back to Columbia uh, starting uh, May 26th. It'll also be uh, at uh, coastal DMVs. It'll also be at the welcome centers and it's always available at our website at scemd.org. And I would also tell you that there's a lot of information in the hurricane guide this year that would be applicable for just about any disaster, uh, not just this one, but it talks about how you prepare in general. And it's a good guide as we move forward in developing our own personal plans uh, to be prepared for this year's hurricane season. And I would also like to add that although we're preparing to be able to disseminate authoritative information quickly, accurately, and informs people can understand with all the social media we have going on these days there may be a lot of misinformation going around as well and that kind of misinformation under well intended uh, uh, is can lead to uh, tragedies about whether an, an area is open or is not open for for people to go back in and so we urge people to always uh, the people of South Carolina get, get your information from an authoritative source uh, otherwise we may be bringing more problems on ourselves in we actually have. So the really good news is uh, we're prepared and we're preparing any more for whatever may come and we've got a good experienced team at the helm. Any questions? Uh, Robert? Anything specific that we learned from last hurricane or the flood before that? Anything that, okay, we, we did fine with that, but we could do it better or we need to do this differently? Well, we can always do things better. Gentlemen? Sir? Uh, a couple of things uh, that come to mind. Uh, first of all, I want to say there was no systemic failures uh, really identified during the flood or the hurricane, uh, the recent hurricane. But there are areas that we need to work on. Uh, certainly messaging for, in terms of the uh, Matthew evacuation, a large number did not evacuate during that, during that uh, effort there. So we're going to have to improve the messaging and, you know, convince people that this is a life safety operation and they need, need to move on. I think another area, I know the governor's already, already mentioned it in terms of the social media, is that there's so much information out there and we're getting that information and our ability to analyze the information once we get it and then 
make it into what we call actionable intelligence. How do we use this information to reduce the response time and to uh, better uh, support local authorities when they need help? General, anything to add to that? I, I would just add one thing, and the, the governor mentioned it, but I want to really emphasize it, is make sure you're taking your information from the counties and from the, the governor's office, authoritative information, because uh, somebody may be on the beach and everything's great there, but between the beach and the interstate is chaos. So uh, make sure that uh, you are getting the information. That's one of the things we found out, uh, especially in reopening some of the uh, the beach areas and some of the island areas, that, that the islands were fine, but the area in between uh, was, was not fine, and, and we ended up with some traffic jams and things like that. But uh, make sure you you listen to what is said. Don't just hear the storms past. Listen to what we're asking you to do. Any more questions? Thank you very much. Thank you all, all right. too. Good stuff.